We are headed to Moab for my birthday, which I'm super stoked about. And I feel like it's time to get the freaking truck ready. I've been uh, rolling one seat here for a really long time, and I can't remember why. I cannot remember what I bought. It might have been the day that I bought the Texas Lexus Cactus. So many of you guys probably don't know that I used to kind of be in the vintage clothing business, which was cool. Enjoyed it. And um, I don't know. I got out of it like as business, but I love vintage clothing. I've been collecting some vintage Lexus gear. Oh, shit, man. I can't believe it's taken me this long to even do that. So I'm super stoked about that. But here's something else that I bought the other day. I bought a phone booth. Why? I don't know. Some cool old signs here. Got this old Levi's banner from back in those vintage days. I picked some of these up when I bought the phone booth and the uh, cactus. Because I just think these are sick. These are some hand-painted signs from uh, some TV set or something. They were filling out in Salt Lake. My garage is a nightmare. But I got this cool free mat from the previous owner. I can't remember why I took it out last, but I took it out. But now I can put it back in because I got the seats out. So let's do that real quick. This one's called Husky Liners. I know that's probably a cheaper version of these catch-alls. I don't know that for sure, but I just think it feels a little thin uh, to be probably the most expensive, you know, floor liner mats. Um, but you know what? First freaking week I had this uh, truck, we kind of spilled some red, like 32 ounces of red soda in the back floorboard, and the liner kept it and held it all the way until I could get some napkins and like clean it up. So if you've been waiting for those really nice ones, just because you think the rest are going to be shit, damn, cursed again, uh, try these. They're pretty good. All right, I uh, I think I've already talked about this in another video, but I'm so behind on editing that um, y'all are just gonna have to see those another day. But I love a good car blanket. I don't know what it is. It's like, you know, impromptu picnic, uh, wet, muddy dog. This is a wool blanket. I got it from an army surplus store. And wool's so sick. It's like, it'll get totally caked in mud. You just take it outside and just like brush it with a dry broom and it's just i mean i never wash this thing it doesn't stink i don't think and then there's those husky liners again these are the ones that you know caught up that 32 ounces of soda shit i feel like this whole thing is like me showing you products but whatever that's like what we're here for right so um this this has been a really good little device i finally literally a couple days ago uh bought spotify premium it's like weird when you're really cheap in certain areas of life and i've always been cheap on like buying streaming apps but you know what you cannot have commercials going on during a dinner party <laughs> it's so fucking whack man and i realized that maybe the second time that i did it and i was like yep this is like it's a conversation killer it's like really i don't know you're all vibing and then all of a sudden it's just like I don't know, it just messes up the moment. But this thing's cool. This little skosh, it connects the second um, you start start the car. Like the second you do it, my phone's like, boop, picks it right up. I don't mess with any of this. I don't talk on the microphone because they're usually crap. I don't know that this one is. I've just never tried it. But as far as like connectivity and just having Bluetooth, and it's not like super off-putting. I, I don't know. I'm one of those guys who likes a really factory clean look, right? And... I don't even want to look at this. I want to look at the piece of plastic that covers the hole, which of course I still have on there because I love this kind of stuff, right? Like I want it to be straight, perfect, beautiful from the dealer. That's why I paid about three grand extra for this one because this one was a one owner and it was just in beautiful condition. You know, every scrape that you see on it right now is crap that I've done. Let's check the trail kit. I've had to use some of this stuff this year. Shit is always a mess. I have no one to blame but me. The magic of television. We are ready to rock. I essentially think I'm going to bring two coolers on this trip. Um, I'm getting really tired of like my ice. Making all my shit moist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... 
the packaging on everything. I don't like having my milk floating in um, water in the desert. Like, by the second, third day, I'm pretty fucking grossed out by it. Sorry, curse again. This cooler is actually kind of special to me. I was driving to Moab. There was like a give a dollar for cancer type charity raffle thing. My mom had just been, uh, I think, just kind of gotten over somewhere in her diagnosis. And, um, yeah, so I just like put a dollar in. And I really didn't, I don't even think I knew it was to win this beer cooler. But lo and behold, this woman called me. And she was like, you won! So literally my kid and I got in the truck and drove probably an hour and a half to pick up this cooler. It's not a great cooler by any means, but it's kind of cool to have a cooler that uh, means something, you know.